Hello, I'm Debbie Bell Hosking for Finextra TV, bringing you a thought leadership interview with Arun Jen, Chairman and Managing Director of Intellect Design Arena. And we're going to be talking about technologies and AI transforming banking. Aaron, a big welcome. This is a great sofa to be chatting on. <laughs> Thank you. Aaron, let's start off. Can I ask you, from your point of view, what are the unique challenges that are facing banking today? Um, banking is facing two big areas we can define the challenges. One is the kind of a complexity of the legacy technologies which are sitting in the banks, which are raising the cost of technology substantially higher for the banks. And secondly is a lot of, lot of knowledge sitting in the documents. So bank have too much knowledge in which need to be converted using AI to be usable knowledge which bank can apply in their day-to-day -day work. So these are two major spaces in which we can categorize banking challenge, especially in Western countries is quite high. Mm, absolutely. And you talk about those legacy systems, yeah. you talk about the more current systems, yeah. we've got legacy data, that's right. we've got digital data, that's right. and trying to bring them together. Mm, that's right. So how can this diverse data, let's mm. call it that, be leveraged to make smarter decisions and actions in key banking processes? And can you name perhaps some core technologies that are pushing this transformation? Yeah, so I, I think there. Uh, we call it why bank exist fundamentally. There is a financial event happen in the life of the customer or a commercial organization which drives a bank to respond to. And bank responds to some services, they give it to the customer, whether it's a deposit service, lending service, investment service, or credit card service, or a payment service. So these are service bank provides to the customer. And then the service has to be connected to each other. So we look at it, events is a, if you look at bank from a first principle thinking, there are only five principles are there. It is to be on events, micro services in technology world, the what service bank provides, if I encode that service in technology form, it's a micro service. And if the interface is between the departments, I can connect them together, it become API. And then it sits on a com common infrastructure, which we call cloud in today's vocabulary. And you need to give a personalized service become the services which is given to the end customer. And then you apply AI. So we call this six principle called emac.ai, each alphabet stands for the, uh, the principle for which new transformation can be led. Mm. Coming to data, data is a core value of any AI. There is a structured data and there is unstructured data. Structured data bank has leverage for quite some time. Now there are eight different technologies for making unstructured data to talk to structured data and use generative AI yeah. and the models which has evolved to create a value. So this is a disruptive technology what we have worked on from last seven years is spending almost 16 million hours of the R&D work at Intellect. Our engineers has come out with a complete technology platform where enterprises can consume this technology to drive a value from the data. So you have to ingest the technology, you have to classify the technology, extract the technology, extract the data, and then make it trusted data. These are four set of technology which we call document intelligent management system, parallel to the document database management system, which we call DIMS. Now we use generative AI expert agent to leverage this technology to define, and we define personas of expert agents which could be relationship manager persona, ops manager persona, compliance manager persona, and we give them a data to all of them, structured data and unstructured data, to drive towards better recommendation, what they think about the decision should be. Yeah. And that's for better decision making. Now, if three people give a decisioning, then obviously there will be contradictions. To handle the contradiction, we have built up a algorithm called Socrates Dialogue, that agents talk to each other, like asking questions to each other, and from that they recommend the final recommendation. So such technology we are using for some of the customer in UK, some US customers are using our technology in this space. So this is a change which is happening where we are using large language models, whether what we are saying for every application, 
in one of the applications we have 13 agents and six models we are using from chat gpt yeah. to anthropic to bedrock so all these technologies can be leveraged mm -hmm. uh, in a structured manner and it sounds to me from what you're talking about is enhancing communication but also building that data foundation a good data foundation right. to move forward with the technology more than data foundation decision systems yeah. so using data foundation structured data and unstructured data leveraging to get into the right appropriate decisioning mm -hmm. so that a lot of banks are going through the substantial losses or the penalties from the regulator they can prevent those uh, penalties because they can do a real time check right. on the authenticity on authenticity of customer yeah. and that real time is so important yeah let's now move on to risk management and compliance mm. another element that's crucial to financial yes. institutions so how can governance frameworks enhance that trust, transparency and regulatory alignment? Yeah, so it's a continuation of the previous thing when we are looking at it. Since 70% of the data sits in a huge documents, the problem of regulatory compliance, better decision making, better transparency, can only be possible when I extract the right knowledge from those documents in a structured fashion. And I use agents of various nature. So today I can put manual, agent, manual people to look at 500 page contract. Now even if he's the smartest person, he'll not able to know the micro details in that document which AI can provide the capability. So driving using the right generative AI in a gov right governance model. So today, generative AI is there. We are using chat GPT in day-to-day -day life. All of us use it, but I cannot use for enterprise application. Yeah. So for governance and compliance, I need to have a one beautiful platform yeah. on which this can be levied. So when I say purple fabric platform, purple fabric platform is a platform on which all this governance can be done. So you, you know, who is using what because this knowledge which is sitting in the data cannot be given to everybody in the company it has to be given to the select set of people and what is required for the regulator he also needs a same kind of a technology to be given to him so this kind of a platforms are important which is applied platform on the top of generative ai platform so we work very collaboratively with aws with azure with other play, llama to use their language models to make it enterprise grade for enterprise to use, financial institution to use it. Yeah, and I think what's interesting is when you talk about everything's on the one platform. Yeah. So let's go, I mean, it's no surprise, uh, banking is extremely fast paced, especially now with these new technologies mm -hmm. and it's competitive. Mm -hmm. So how can banks ensure that rapid transition from ideation to production but at the same time, meet any challenges that come their way and optimize opportunities. And here's the key word, quickly. Quickly, yeah. Yeah, I think this is a key word, but I'm slightly proponent of saying I need to have a cartographic view of next five year plan. And then I will keep fixing each component one by one. So I design a 20 story building and I move every three months into one, one, one floor, but designing the 20 story building should be done together rather than a random working. So that's why we propose that today there is a possibility of composability and contextuality. You can design a compose a solution in every 12 weeks, you can compose a particular solution for a particular segment for the customer by having a codeless platform. So Turmeric is our codeless platform we use and we have 329 microservices some 1700 APIs and 500 events. Now with this composability, we can provide that in every 12 weeks, we can provide a one value product to the customer. But we would like to work with the customer in a more 20 uh, quarter program, five year program, but divided into 20 deliveries, floor by floor. 
floor by floor. <laughs> Working with the customer floor by floor. Yeah. <laughs> well, Aaron, thank you so much. It's been enlightening. And it, as we said earlier, this is such a fast paced yeah. environment. That's so safe. it's great to hear about all these technologies and increasing communication as well. Thank you. It's so beautiful to <laughs> have these questions which are burning questions of uh, most of the bankers when I, I was having a buy-in conference last week and I was addressing the complex, how do you simplify the banking yep. by so, reducing complexity and what your questions are in line with a similar question when they ask me the question. <laughs> thank <laughs> you, Finextra, for asking such questions. It's a pleasure and thank you, Aaron. Yeah.